Welcome to this Windows channel and um, I wanted to uh, kind of revisit the user accounts. Uh, a few people have been mentioning that the last time that I talked about user accounts was a couple of years back with Windows 10 and as we had new ver versions of Windows there's a lot of options that change through the time and so it's kind of time to revisit the uh, user accounts a little bit. So the first one that I will uh, actually um, show you today is how to add, simply add, a local user account in Windows 10. So what's a local user account? It's an account that actually is not linked to any Microsoft account or an email. It's simply, directly, just an account that will be used. And it's useful to actually have one because especially if you have people using your PC from time to time, it's very, very useful and um, I think almost uh, something that needs to be done to kind of separate your own account, your own little world, and have some little account for only those that use your PC from time to time, or you know, if you uh, share your PC sometimes with somebody else. So how you do this is very easy. You simply go to your settings. In the settings, you will go into accounts. Now, here you will have different options on the left side. The one you want to click is simply family and other people. Here, you can add someone else to this PC. Remember, this is not to add a family member personally. This one is really to add a second account in case you want to have somebody use the PC um, from time to time. Once you click here, it's going to go through different options and one of them is oh Microsoft account you don't want that so basically you click I don't have this person's sign-in information and once you have there you say add a user without a Microsoft account so you know Microsoft's making it hard to understand that you've got to do that to in order to uh, basically you know make sure that you don't get to Microsoft account. So be sure to add a user without a Microsoft account at the bottom. Once it's there, who's going to be using this PC? Say I want to name it, um, you know, guest account. You want to make it secure, enter a password. You can also enter a password hint. Uh, personally, I will enter absolutely nothing in this field. Click next. And here we go, guest account is right here. So now, next time that you boot up your PC, you'll have a choice. You'll have the choice between your account and your local account that you've just created. Now that local account, there are options for it. And we'll talk about that in a separate video, how to change the options of the guest account or the local account that you've just created. Because you don't want to have everybody doing whatever they want on their PC. You want to have a certain amount of control over that. And that's how it is to do so. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.